How far can two watts of 80 meters double sideband go? Here's a transceiver that started its life on 40 meters as an enhanced beach 40, but I've since changed it to 80 meters. The change was very straightforward. The only things I needed to do was to change the output low pass filter from seven to 3.5 megahertz and change how the local oscillator generated its signal. Instead of using a 7.2 megahertz ceramic resonator, I used a ceramic resonator for 3.68 megahertz. You can see the new ceramic resonator here. It's available locally through many kits in South Australia. Because it's a three-legged ceramic resonator and not the two-legged type that I used on 7 MHz, I think there's some internal capacitors, so I did have to change some of the capacitance values to get a desired frequency coverage. Anyway, I can get about 3.620 up to about 3.675, so a tuning range of around 50 kilohertz, and that's the busiest part of the SSB portion of the 80 meter band here in Australia. Might be different in different countries, but it's quite an active part of the band here. Another thing I needed to do was there was too much RF gain on the transmit side. That was causing the power meter not to go down to zero, even when I wasn't talking, which is not really a good thing for a double sideband transceiver. Anyway, I reduced the gain by cutting out this resistor and capacitor series combination. You can probably only just see it because I've whited it out, but in the first transmit RF amplifier stage, I've just got a 100 ohm resistor from emitter to ground. Anyway, that reduced the gain enough to cause there to be no problems and a much cleaner output. So with all that done, the output power is now 2 watts double sideband, meaning that the output in each sideband is only 1 watt. Not very much, but you might still be able to be heard over a fair distance. Let's try some software defined radios in other states and see if I can hear the signal. This one is at Ironstone Range in South Australia. As you can hear, there's a bit of thunderstorm activity. It's just before 9 pm here. It is probably still light in South Australia. Given the distance, around 700 kilometres, I think that was quite a good result. This is VK3OQ in northern Victoria. As you can hear, a fair amount of local noise. This one is vk 5 ARG again in South Australia and this one I've tried it before and it seems to have a very low noise level so we'll give this one a go back with the reduced power 2 watts double sideband
This one is VK3KXZ, about 30 kilometres or so from here. So that's just a quick demonstration of a couple of watts on double sideband on 80 meters. Range is typically a bit less than on 40 meters. There are certain times and distances when 80 is superior. The 10 watts of SSB is no doubt far better than the 2 watts of double sideband. But in cases where you want it to be very small, very light and draw very small amounts of power, then the double sideband rig might be the better option. Ideally, it would have a choice for CW when the signals get difficult to copy. For the circuit of this, have a look at my website, vk3ye.com, and the circuit is pretty much identical to the Beach 40 that is described on the website and in various videos.